Chef Ryan Nolan is here uh, from Oshkosh, and the place he works at is called Mahoney's. Correct. Right? Good. Yeah, where is it located? In Oshkosh. All right, and do you mix up the menu? <laughs> Sixth and Nap. I said that already. Oh, yeah. It was in Oshkosh. Yeah, well, they don't. Sixth and Nap. Yes. Okay. On the south side. All right, do you, do you make recipes with squash at the restaurant? Uh, or are you we doing do. that just for our viewers? Uh, well, partly for the viewers, and then partly we do it for a special, sometimes a soup of the day, sometimes Ooh. wherever we can fit it in, because squash is in abundance. It's a lot at the mm -hmm. farmer's market. You have employees, families dropping it off from their garden, so... Try and it use grows it up like any way crazy, you can. doesn't yeah, it? it does. <laughs> well, yes, my favorite way is is with soup. Yeah, I'm so and this glad is you knew that. So easy to do, and uh, my wife actually brought up a good point that if you throw a little bit of granola on this, it's the perfect breakfast soup. Really? Yeah, almost like okay. a porridge. Just a little sweet, yeah, but nice and rich. Perfect for a cold morning, rainy weekend that we got coming mm -hmm. up. Let's so do it. Time to Let's use get it. started. So what we did is we have we have to take some butternut squash and we have to roast it. So okay. in the oven we actually have some. Let me All just right, grab that real us? fast. I gotta grab this towel though so okay. I don't burn myself. That would be bad. Well, it'd be entertaining, but so what we did right here is we have some butternut squash that we okay. actually uh, cut in half, oiled, salt, and peppered, and we threw it in the oven until it gets nice and tender. Nice. And then we were able to take and it scoop looks that. Perfect scoop that pulp out right there. Oh, so we're okay. going to add that to our sauce pot, but we're actually going to move this because this burner is on. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Burn down the studio. Do you, you want to just set that back in there? Yeah, why not? Just to keep us safe. <laughs> just trying to make it interesting. <laughs> so we have, have our idea, right? Yep. Okay. So we have our butternut squash. We've got a sauce pot that we're heating up. Is this for me? Yep. And to that, we're going to add about two cups of heavy cream and two cups of milk. Okay. Now, if you wanted to go ahead and shortcut it, just use half and half because that's essentially what it is. That's what I would do. But I didn't have any half and half, so you okay. know, I had cream and milk. Well, I've got some. I keep it in the fridge. <clears throat> it's so the you're one thing get, I have to have. You're going to get that well incorporated okay. and bring it up to a little bit of a simmer, almost a boil. All right. And to that, we're going to add just a little bit of cinnamon to kind of give it that nice fall spiced flavor. fall flavor. Yes. But we also want a little pop to it, too, so we got a little cayenne pepper. Ooh. Now we're trying. I don't know if that's a breakfast. Oh, it is. It, it blends so well. Okay. You've never had cayenne on your eggs or Tabasco or anything? <laughs> well, I know people who have. Oh, yeah, that's oh, good. Oh, I've had, yes, I've had like... Um, Cholula is a good one on your yeah, eggs, too. Yeah, sure. Okay. But before we get too sidetracked, we're also going to add a little bit of brown sugar to add a little bit of sweetness. Now, okay. if you want to add less, you can add less. You want to add more and make it really sweet. Ooh, now, now you're prerogative. sweet. Yeah, I can smell that. And then at the end, just a little bit of cracked pepper and some salt. Okay. Now, obviously, after this has come to a boil... Because it hasn't yet. It hasn't yet, and I don't think we'll okay. have time. I mean, we can sit and wait and... What do we need, like 20 more minutes? Probably. <laughs> Just sit here and stare <laughs> that, at the camera. That is not going to happen. No? Nope, All not right. today. Maybe I'm... next time I can ask the producer. Okay. You I can mean, have a 20-minute cooking segment. I, I think it's, you know, Maybe you Emmy just need your own winning. show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh. How to boil soup. <laughs> Emmy. Um, so... Okay. Once we would get it to a boil, we could take our wonderful immersion blender here. Okay. And so we're going to pretend it. that it's been. Yeah, it's been, been boiled. Going. So we're just going to make a mess, make it nice and homogenous. Homogenous? Yes. So let's really? imagine we've pureed it because I don't want to. Try do that again. Part. I want to see if you can actually do this. Oh, there we go. Yeah. And what you're going to find, too, is as we get it pureed, it's going to thicken up a little bit, too, okay. and make it nice and rich. Oh, look at that. So we'd keep going with it. You know, if you happen to have your squash undercooked and it wasn't quite pureeing all the way in, you could pass it through, you know, a strainer. Oh, okay. To I get some of the bigger there, chunks actually. out of there. Actually, I don't mind that, but you want it homogenous. Homogenous. Okay, now what's next? Eating it? And then after that, we would just <laughs> bowl it up and eat it. And what we did was we garnished it with a little bit of maple sour cream. How do you get maple sour cream? Maple syrup and sour cream. That's it? Yeah. It's that so easy? So it's like three parts sour cream to one part maple syrup. So we okay. did like three quarters of a cup of sour cream and a quarter cup of maple. All right. And, and this then, and is just, what it looks like. Yep. With just a little bit of ground sage okay. on the Can top. Okay. Can I use this spoon since yeah. the others were all dirty? Oh, don't pull it away until oh. they're done. Oh, sorry. I'm going to get yelled at for that later. I didn't want you to drip all over the table. Look at that. Mm. It's delicious. Yeah, but now you can just you a see? little sweetness. Yep. But that pepper really offsets it. Yeah. It's a it's beautifully a balanced pepper. Yep. And what do you call it? Uh, butternut squash, cream of butternut squash soup. You could call it a bisque, I guess. Okay. Take some liberties. And the recipe should be on our website, fox11online.com. Mm -hmm. Click on Good Day Wisconsin. And you'll be back next hour making? A salad with roasted squash and roasted beets. <laughs> awesome. Because there's a lot of them. <laughs> we'll be right back. You're watching Good Day Wisconsin. This is so 